In this video, we're learning about the geologic time scale, so we'll cover what the geologic time scale is, how rock strata and fossils help us to understand Earth's history, and finally, why analyzing rock strata in the fossil record only gives us relative dates rather than absolute dates. Let's start with what the geologic time scale is. The geologic time scale is basically like a giant calendar that organizes Earth's entire 4.6 billion year history into different time periods. Just like how we divide a year into months, weeks, and days, geologists divide Earth's history into eras, periods, and epochs. However, this isn't a regular calendar with specific dates. Instead, it's based on major changes that happen to the planet and the organisms living on it over time. For example, one period might be defined by when certain animals first appeared, whilst another period might be marked by a mass extinction event. A really useful thing about the geologic time scale is that it helps scientists communicate with each other about Earth's history. For instance, when a geologist says Jurassic period, other scientists will know they're talking about the span of time roughly 200 to 145 million years ago when dinosaurs dominated the land. Next, let's take a look at how rock strata and fossils help us to organize Earth's history. The geologic time scale was created by studying rocks and the fossils they contain. Rock strata are layers of sedimentary rock that form when sediments, so that's things like sand, mud, and dead organisms, settle in bodies of water, like lakes or oceans. Over time, these sediments get buried under more layers, and the extreme weight presses them into solid rock. Whenever you look at a cliff face, you can see distinct layers stacked on top of each other. The bottom layer is the oldest, and each layer above it is progressively younger. This principle is called the Law of Superposition. The properties of each layer are unique to the specific conditions that existed when that layer formed. Scientists can examine rock layers across different locations, and if they find the same type of layer in different places, they know those layers formed during the same time period, even if they are now hundreds of miles apart. Fossils, on the other hand, are the preserved remains of ancient organisms that can be found embedded within some rock strata. Importantly though, different types of fossils appear in different rock strata. As an example, you'll find fossils of trilobites, which are extinct ancient sea creatures, in very old rock layers. But never in the same strata as dinosaur fossils, because trilobites lived hundreds of millions of years before dinosaurs ever existed. Now, some fossils are particularly useful for dating rock layers. These are called index fossils, and they're organisms that lived for relatively short periods, but were widespread across the planet. When scientists find an index fossil in a rock layer, they know that layer formed during the relatively narrow time period when that organism lived. By combining information from rock strata and fossils, scientists can piece together a detailed timeline of how our planet, and the life on it, have changed over billions of years. Finally then, let's take a look at why analyzing rock strata and the fossil record only gives us relative dates rather than absolute dates. Relative dates tell us the order in which the events happened, so what came first, second, third, and so on. When we look at rock layers, we can say that the bottom layers are older than the younger layers above them. And similarly, we can say that the fossils in the upper layers lived after the fossils in the bottom layers, which lived before. However, relative dating doesn't tell us exactly when these events occurred. It's like knowing that your grandmother was born before your mother, and your mother was born before you, but not knowing the specific year any of you were born. To get absolute dates though, which are specific ages and years, scientists need to use different methods instead. An example of these methods is radioactive decay dating. During this process, we measure how certain radioactive elements break down over time. So, to recap, rock strata and fossils are incredibly valuable for understanding the sequence of events in Earth's history, and they also help us to organize that history into the geologic time scale. However, they only allow us to build up a relative timeline, and don't give us absolute dates. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam-style questions, and past papers. 
and we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.